Today we are grooming an adorably funny husky named Skylar, and she is 8 years old. This is just a reminder to check to make sure you are subscribed, because this is my second channel, Girl with the Dogs 2. Okay Skylar, you're about to blow up my shop. We are definitely going to need fluff off shampoo today because she is shedding like a mad woman. I'm going to use fluff off and then I'm going to use nasty critter because she is both dirty and hairy. A nasty critter really helps to get rid of that dirt and that odor. Nasty critter is going to be for sale next week on my website, so stay tuned. She's in the tub today because I wanna use my de-shedding nozzle because of how much hair she's losing. Everybody asks why I don't do that for every dog. First of all, the dog has to be willing to get into the bathtub, that's number one. Not all dogs wanna do that. They can't be too large because if they're too big, it can be hard for me to m turn them around in the tub. Um, and they have to be okay with standing because I can't really de-shed her properly if she sits the whole time. So I'm gonna try, but the de-shedding nozzle doesn't work for every dog, not because it doesn't work on their coat, but their temperament has to match being able to use it. You are certainly blowing your summer coat, my girl. Okay, girlfriend. Oh, no biting the nozzle, please. Okay, relax. No. It's okay, Skylar. Are you going to be a typical husky today? Naturally. I'm using Nasty Critter. Hopefully she lets me use the de-shedding nozzle on her today because she is losing a lot of coat. You are shedding your summer coat and growing in your winter fluff. Okay, girl, it's not the end of the world. Your coat is quite greasy. It does not want to lather at all. Obviously doing dogs in the shower, it's a lot less work on my back. So it's really nice and it would be great if I could do the majority of them in here, but because I do such large dogs, it ends up just being more difficult because I can't get them to turn or stand up and then it just hurts my back even more. So this is a luxury today when I get a small enough dog to do in here that actually goes in. As soon as she saw the tub, she knew. She was like, no. Don't do it. This shampoo nozzle is also for sale on my website. It's a new product that we just got on there. I get probably hundreds of emails a day asking me where people can get it. So it is available now on girlwiththedogs.com and it does have worldwide shipping. Nope, nope, don't shake yet, please. I am going to rinse her down, then I'm gonna condition her, and then I'm going to use the de-shedding nozzle with the conditioner in her coat. Come on, turn. It's okay, it's okay. Resist shaking. Now I'm gonna use some conditioner. Okay, oh, girl, no, no, stay please, please stay. Good girl. Oh, 
Okay, relax. I am switching to the de-shedding nozzle and something tells me water is going to go everywhere. So if my camera gets full of water and you guys can't see anything, I apologize in advance. Doesn't seem to want to work. I know it's going to work on your back end, but will I be able to get you to stand is the question. Okay. Yes, there's hair at the bottom of the tub. But I feel like it's just not doing a good enough job. And it's wasting my time that I could just be spend drying her and removing the coat. So another problem with the de-shedding nozzle is that the dog really has to stay still. If the dog is constantly moving when you're trying to use it, uh, water goes everywhere and it's also not effective because you're not using it properly. So for me, it's a lot easier to use the dryer than it is to fight with the dog with the hose in the tub just to get that hair off. So when you're asking me why I don't use it so often, that's the reason. It really only works on dogs that stay perfectly still and some coats it just doesn't like get off enough hair and the dryer does a better job. So in this particular case, I feel like the dryer is gonna do a much better job than the de-shedding nozzle. We tried. At least I didn't have to break my back doing you in the shower today. That's great. Thank you for that. You're gonna hate the blow dryer. Yes, you are. So I have put her in the belly band because I think she's old. The owner didn't tell me how old she was, but her teeth make her look like she is fairly old. I don't want her to slip off the table and potentially injure herself. So I'm putting her in the belly band just so I can make sure that all fours stay on the table at all times. Okay, happy hoodie. Good girl. I don't think you're gonna like the blow dryer. I think you're gonna be very upset about it.
Probably isn't going to help, but we're going to try anyways. Because she's not slipping off the table, even though that's what it looks like. She just doesn't want to be on the table. So she's trying to figure out how she can get off. And in the process, She is slipping. Okay, let's try this again. Working with dogs often comes with having a lot of patience. I have a lot of patience. I am being patient with her, but that doesn't mean, I know people always ask me, how do you not get stressed out sometimes with the dogs that you work at? Doesn't mean that I'm not getting stressed out. Uh, she's not horrible by any means, but she really doesn't like anything to do with grooming and she is trying her best to make my life as difficult as possible. And you're kind of winning. So when screaming, and trying to slip off the table has not worked for her. She is now resorting to clawing me. I'm gonna spray her down in the stuff for dogs. I have so much hair in my eyes, even though I wore my hat, and it's making me crazy. She is going to need, well, I'm gonna try the Ecri Groomer. Sometimes it works on Huskies, sometimes it doesn't. And then she was definitely going to need the undercoat rake for sure. I don't think it's gonna be easy to do her nails. So I will probably have to put her in the groomer's helper potentially a muzzle. We will wait and see how she is, but she definitely, like most Huskies, hates having her paws touched. Nope, nope, stay. Good girl. No, no, no. No, can I see in there? No, don't show me your teeth. You really don't want me going in there. Hey, let me see. Thank you, good girl. Just trying to remove the hair that's in there because if it is going to take a while to dry if i can remove that hair it'll dry quicker preventing the likeliness of her getting hot spots you're gonna let me look at your nails just want to look at them can i touch them oh yeah this is going to be fun i'm just trying to see how long they are well, the dryer did a great job at removing her coat. There isn't much coming off. That's why I'm using the comb, because I want to see how much the comb grabs. 
because if it grabs a lot, then that means she's still shedding quite a bit. And if it only grabs a little bit, then that means that the majority of her coat's already out, which it's only grabbing a little bit. So we'll do the other side. Now for the worst part. I don't think I'm gonna bother shaving her paw pads today because you guys can obviously see the way that she reacts having her paws touched. It's gonna be very difficult for me to try to shave them. Um, they're not that hairy anyways, but I am going to try to clip her nails because they definitely need to be clipped. Oh yeah, this is gonna be hard. Okay. Stay, you're okay. Good girl. No, 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 no. Stay, stay. Good girl. Good girl. No, 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 no. Can't hold her front paws the way that I did the back one, so it makes it a little bit more challenging. Stay, it's okay. Good girl. Good girl, please don't try to bite me. Good girl. Good girl. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Very good girl. Good girl. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, you're being really good. Good girl. No, no, no. Stay. was a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be. It actually wasn't painful at all. What a surprise. Okay, just gotta get some of those thick hairs out of there. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Bubble gum cologne. So in total, she took me an hour and 45 minutes to complete. Now we're gonna go outside and play in the yard a little bit. If you guys liked this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember that this is Girl with the Dogs 2, not the original Girl with the Dogs. There are two separate channels if you're watching this on YouTube. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you again in a few days.